Think back to your favorite childhood play memory. What were you doing? Who were you with? Where were you? What were some of the sights and sounds and smells that you experienced? Many of us remember time spent outside, playing in the streets around our home, in nearby forests, ditches, ravines, or other places that weren't necessarily for play. Think back to why those memories were so important for you. A lot of adults talk about a sense of freedom, to be able to do what they wanted to do, when they wanted to do it, to meet up with friends, to run and jump and shout and play, and to have a sense of limitless time to be able to explore the outdoors and do what they wanted to do. Now, it turns out that these are really important features of outdoor play, and they're not generally available when kids play inside. They're actually quite important for children's health, development, and well being. So, why are we seeing a decreasing trend in children's outdoor play? And what can we do about it? In this video, we'll be talking about three key ingredients for supporting children's outdoor play time, space, and freedom. When kids are outside playing, they're more physically active. Being able to set their own goals and figure out how to obtain those goals, that's really important for their cognitive development. Negotiating with their friends, that's really important for their social and emotional development. Figuring out how to solve problems, how to keep themselves safe, that's really important for their self-confidence, resilience, and risk management skills. Over the past several generations, there's been a downward trend in the time that kids are spending outside and more of a push indoors, sitting down with adults directing what they do. But as we've learned more about the importance of outdoor play for children's health, development, and well being, there's been growing concern about this trend of disappearing play from children's lives. There's some really easy things that parents and caregivers can do to support play and bring back play to their children's lives based on the three key ingredients for children's outdoor play. Number one, allowing the time to play. Now, this can mean actually scheduling it into the calendar, making sure that it doesn't get lost in the busyness of everyday life and rushing around. Number two, providing spaces for play and making sure that they're interesting. One of the easiest ways to do this is to bring in loose parts, things like sticks and stones and leaves and tarps and crates, things that kids can move around. This really allows them to let their imagination shape the play and increases the quality of the play. Number three, giving them the freedom to play the way that they want to play, including taking risks. So one of the things you can think about is next time you're tempted to intervene, you can just count to 17. Let the situation play itself out. Figure out at the end of that time if it's still important that you actually get involved. So I would encourage you, parents and caregivers, to set one simple goal for what you want to do to help support your child's play. It doesn't have to be complicated or difficult. It really just needs to be manageable for you. I promise you, you won't regret it.